Brompton accessories finally came in. Should have about seven items here for the Brompton. I don't know what's on each package, so we'll just open them all and go through them and I'll explain to you what they are. And we'll install them later on. But these are the silver easy wheels. I believe they're aluminum. I'm going for a black, brown, tan color, silver um, color scheme with my green Brompton. But here's the easy wheels, four of them. And I also got the extender. Two of these wheels will be installed on this extender and uh, the other two will go on the uh, back of the rack. But this extender basically just slides out and gives your bike a little bit more leverage when you're rolling it. I already have the Brompton Easy wheels installed, um, but these are just silver. So we'll see how well they work and the differences between the two. A box inside a bag. I'm sure this is gonna all fly away with the wind. Oh yes, this is the seat post clamp right now. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a black one right here. Um, this is the silver one. Um, here's the pulleys for the, the new gear, which is, uh, this is for the derailleur system. I don't know, I forgot what you call this, but I'll add a annotation to the video so you know. But this is going to replace the little device on the inside. You can't see it, but you'll see it when I install it. I kind of figured that was what was in this bag. This is the kickstand. Now, a Brompton doesn't really need a kickstand, but for photos, it makes it really convenient for when you're taking pictures. But this is just a aluminum kickstand. And I'm excited about this because now I don't have to lean it against something to take pictures. I can stick it out in the middle of a road if I want. Uh, this probably is two pieces as well. pieces so these are the clamps that go right here instead of having black they're going to be silver little wheels and they have a spring built into them so these don't have a spring built into them so these are always loose when you loosen them up they sometimes get stuck and it drives me nuts there's a 3d printed part that you can print off for these but the model wasn't very good. I tried printing it yesterday. But luckily these came in today. And they are pretty slick looking. There's that. Another silver item. And this is the rear leather pouch that I got. It straps onto the brook seat with these brown straps here. And it just goes right on the back of the bike. And it's uh, pretty close to the color of the bike. From the back here, you probably won't be able to tell that it's a little off, but it looks really cool. It's the only non-silver item I got today. Now let's see what the inside looks like. Looks like you have to undo the strip. It's just got some foam in here to keep its shape. And it's real leather. You can definitely smell it. 
It was actually really inexpensive too, for what it is. But there you go. I'll leave links to all the stuff in the description. But those are all my Brompton accessories. first accessories that I added to the bike was the Brompton rack. I bought an M6L which is basically just a the bike with no rack. It didn't even have the Brompton front bracket up there. And we'll go over that in just a second. But this is the rear rack that was added. And then I added a little LED light here for nighttime riding. I can turn it on. And I have another one coming in that's made specifically for the Brompton. But this will do for now. That's going to be a while before it gets there. But that's the rear rack. And I installed these easy wheels, and they're silver. As you can see here. And they spin really easily so when you have the bike folded up in the folded position it rests on these wheels and then up here this extends to give it a little bit more stability and then it goes back in when you're riding the bike and then I installed a kickstand and then I installed the new Schwabi tires these are the Schwabi marathon racers and they're tan walled and they're made for the street I think all tires for the pretty much for the Brompton are going to be street tires but they really set off the bike with the green color and my theme is green silver and tan the only tan thing I have on here right now are the tires but and I do have tan straps up here, which are really brown. And then the next thing I installed is actually in the mirror. Which you guys have seen this before, but that's the Miracle Mirror. And then I installed these really cheap. These are plastic, they're not metal, they look like metal, but they're plastic and this is probably not real leather they were only 10 bucks so but they look really good with the, the seat they kind of match everything the Brooks saddle was I think my very first upgrade that I did just because I had to have it it goes with the whole theme of the bike British this is a British company and so is the Brompton. 
Then I installed my foam mount, which is just a foam mount that I use with every bike that I own. And it just clamps on and it works really good with the Brompton because Bromptons are very specific on the way you can mount the phone or a bike computer or anything like that. Then we come down here to the seat post clamp, which this is normally black. And uh, this one, of course, is not black, it's silver. I wanted to get an upgraded silver clamp, which is nice. It's a, I think all the silver stuff is aluminum, possibly. Back here, I'm getting a silver metal spring that goes back here. That's going to look really cool. And what else did I get? I got a couple other things you'll have to see in the next update video. And then I got this two fish strap water bottle. I have a water bottle that fits in here that's also stainless. So it matches the silver color. I forgot to bring that with me. <laughs> I just rode up here real quick. But this is just a water bottle cage that straps to your bike. You can put it anywhere. Um, I may even move it to the front. I just got this in today and it's pretty nice. And then I wanted to change out these clamps because I didn't like the stock ones. The stock ones um, are kind of hard to, to do. They're not hard after you get used to it, but these are just a little bit more convenient. You can actually use this like a rotary dial and you can get the clamp to come apart really fast. So if you just want to stick your finger in there and go around, you can. But they're pretty easy to, to use. And they're silver. So I got two clamps, one for the frame and one for the handlebars. This is the chain tensioner. Normally it's just solid black plastic, but this is aluminum and it's silver. So that's pretty cool. I may go back to the stock one if I can't figure out how to adjust this. But I've been having a little bit of a chain issue. It's not too bad, but I think the alignment might be off a little bit. I know that these little black plastic things that they have here that hold it in place aren't real secure. And then we'll move along to our bags. This is a leather bag. Little rear saddle bag. It clips right on to the back of the brook saddle. It's made for it. And it's just like any buckle. But then you can pretty much stick anything you want in there. Like a camera. Or a phone. Or anything for that matter. But usually I'll probably throw a camera in there. So there's that. And then the final thing is the Brompton bag. This is a little bitty tiny pouch that basically is a, just a cheap little thing to hold whatever you want. I have a little light on here for when I ride at night. But you could stick a phone in there, you could stick a camera, a snack, whatever you want. And then I have a bigger bag, which I'll show now, um, that basically is going to be for groceries. But that's the uh, little silver bag I got. Kind of has a reflective holographic look to it. 